What's up guys, Dr. Antonio Webb here. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. So I'm hearing a lot that's out there about all of these AI technologies like chat GPT. Well, the question is, and the questions I get all the time, will these AI technology platforms, will they replace doctors? And also, are they accurate? So there are a lot of different things that you can go online and search and, you know, if you have a common cold, what's the best way to treat it? Uh, I'm always seeing patients who have back issues, neck problems, and they come into my office my, for my recommendation in, in terms of what's the best way to treat it. So we're gonna jump over to ChatGPT and uh, we're gonna ask him, what is the best way to treat low back pain? Let's see what it says. Pretty quick response. Um, I like that first disclaimer, I am not a doctor. We have to always give patients and people that are searching some type of uh, disclaimer, but some general guidelines for treating back pain. I'll let you guys know if I agree with this or not. So rest and activity, and it, it spit out really fast, um, 12 different uh, strategies to help alleviate low back pain. The first one is rest and activity. With any type of injury, disease, or degeneration, aggravation uh, of your lumbar spine, it's always good to just take a step backwards. And I always tell my patients that it's, your body is gonna let you know if you're doing too much. So if you're running for six or seven miles, if you're walking 6,000 steps a day, your body's gonna let you know in the form of being either sore or pain. Don't go through and just work through pain. Um, listen to your body. So I think that's a good recommendation. Rest activity modification. It's actually something that I actually recommend to my patients. The second one is physical therapy. This is designed to um, for exercises and stretches to strengthen and stabilize the muscles surrounding and supporting your lower back. That's true, very true. Most patients that come to my office are treated conservatively with activity modification, which they just mentioned, with pain medications such as anti-inflammatories, uh, and also physical therapy. Your core is tied to your low back, and it's tied to a lot of other muscle groups in your lower extremities. You have to strengthen your core, and also you have to strengthen those muscles around your lower back, which can help alleviate low back pain. Uh, the third one, pain medications, anti-inflammatories, these things are reasonable to try. Heat and cold therapy, that's certainly reasonable. Um, that's a conservative treatment. Uh, maintaining good posture. I see a lot of patients that come in and they spend a lot of time sitting at their desk like this here. So I usually recommend the patients to try a stand desk, a desk that actually raises. You can sit for 30 minutes, stand for 30 minutes and kind of alternate that so you're not sitting for six or seven hours, eight hours a day. Um, weight management extremely important. What I recommend for patients, the most commonly recommendations that I give, number one is to lose weight, number two is don't smoke, number three is to strengthen your core. Uh, each additional pound of weight adds at about four additional pounds of force going across the disc. So if someone is 200 pounds overweight, that's about 800 pounds of extra force that's gonna wear out that cushion. Uh, which is the disc between the bones. When that happens, that's irreversible, so keep your weight down. Low impact activities, exercise, swimming, walking, yoga, that can improve the flexibility and strengthening your back, that's, 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 that's good. Ergonomic support, which is good. Avoid prolonged sitting. Man, these are some, actually, some really good uh, tips here. Sleep in position, um, yep, find one that's comfortable for you. Alternate therapies, uh, acupuncture, chiropractic, massage therapy. I mean, th there's not a lot of great literature that supports like acupuncture, but I always welcome patients to try anything um, outside of surgery before we head to surgery. And then added stress. I mean, I, that's something that I really don't talk to my patients about, but it's actually, it's something that I need to. Stress can make your muscles feel tight and constricted. You have to find ways to manage your stress the relaxation techniques, meditation, and even counseling. So, man, I, I, on a scale of one to 10, this is a 10. This is, they hit every single thing besides smoking, don't smoke, 
Nicotine is a vasoconstrictor and it allows less blood flow to get to your spine. You're, you need nutrients, you, you need um, uh, some nourishment to your spine and that's, it can lead to disc degeneration disease, subsequently back pain. So, but they hit all the points where I talk to patients about low back pain. The most common complaint that patients come in my office for is low back pain. And we're going through these list of modalities, strategies here to uh, treat that. So I'm impressed with what I saw today and what we're seeing today. But what do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one.